do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. Hello, t Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't be late. Ah. Uh, yep. Yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, it's sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm going to start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. All right. I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the back. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? 
I mean, it's just counting stuff on a shelf, right? Yeah, let's start with an easy one. All right. Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Uh, no, that's not it. I wonder what's in that box. I wonder what's in that box. Why am I standing here looking at this? We could use some of that at the house. Why am I standing here looking at this? Maybe I should pick up some for Allison? You know, when you think about it, glass is really just tortured sand. Huh. Have you been sniffing this spray paint, Tyler? <laughs> Why are you laughing? I I was just remembering the time Allison and I opened up a bag of flour and threw it at each other's faces. We called it a, a summer snow fight. We made a gigantic mess. Marianne was pissed. I wonder what's in that box. We could use some of that at the house. Why am I standing here looking at this? Hold on, let me count this. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay, sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. And where are they at exactly? I thought you had this in the bag. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Tessa puts the heavy stuff near the door on the bottom shelves. All right, I think I can work with that. Is that the mangy muskrat? Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah, that's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages, but he is very, very hot. Shit, yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah, he's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah, yep, I see it. Yikes, that's unsettling. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh. <laughs> You can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. I wonder what's in that box. <laughs> Tired already? What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on, look at the hair. Nailed it, right? 
Uh, there might be a little room for improvement. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, I just said a little. That means it's mostly good. Man, I pour my heart out into this, and this is what I get? Cold, Tyler. Ice cold. So this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Okay. So... Uh, you've got about 11 left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ouch, what the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Oh, damn it. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Oh, right in the face. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. I'm gonna tell Allison you said that. Uh, she's usually stuck in the office. Besides, your sister, while a hottie, isn't my type. <laughs> gotcha. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Vecchi. Can't sell any of them. Cool, no harm, no foul then. Oh, <laughs> man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay, I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here, let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you. World-renowned marinade, huh? What's in it? A magician never reveals his secrets. Ah. 
I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers, she doesn't say anything. Man, must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town will be a full-time fucking job. And emotional labor pays shit. Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno working with the JCE, meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me, because no one else will. Right. I feel you. Hey, I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. I and mean, what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. I'm still figuring my shit out. I'm not sure if I'm made to be with anyone, you know? Yeah, of course. And don't ever feel like you have to rush into anything. Yeah, I don't. But thank you. Anyway... And... I'm done. No way! You like Duplex Duo too? Yeah, <laughs> Allison got me into him. We were supposed to go to his show in Juno a few months ago. And what happened? Uh, you ever heard of Moon Rocks? <laughs> we took two hits before going to the show and that was it. Our feet couldn't find the floor. Not our finest hour. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. Fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad he trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. <laughs> uh, thanks. That's nice of you to say. I mean it. I'm glad Allison has you back. You're going to be a positive influence for her. I know it. We are not going to let her die a slow death in QuickBooks. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. Y you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. They pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell, too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go.
Here we are. Thanks for letting me hit you right over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after, you know. I promise after this, we can chill at the house, cool? Hey, graves are back that way. So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all? Since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Mother made us come here all the time. It was so weird. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No, it's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes. Even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot, but... Sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. building a house right next to the cemetery. Hard to think of a worse idea than that. Well, look at Michael. Some people actually go to cemeteries willingly. People with functional families, I guess. Yeah, you let me know if you ever meet one of those. <laughs> well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave, just to make sure this is the right spot. This might take a while. This might take a while. Look. De Leon. That's the one. Don't tell me we missed her. Mr. Eagle? Kids. It's time.
really have to go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branch? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Yeah. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. of history. What's that mean? Not sure, but Michael should know. staring at the water during the funeral. When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. So, how are you, um, holding up? The sooner this is all over, the better. So far, it seems like everyone in town's got an ugly secret. Please don't let me find yours. <laughs> I'm way too good at disposing of bodies. Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? So what was your uncle like? Oh boy, where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? <laughs> I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. My family's old school clinket. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Yes, I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. I can't wait to get home and try that famous marinade. So, what's the secret ingredient? What do you like to know, huh? Bird syrup. Uh, how could you? Twins before hoes, Michael. Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Eh, uh, shoot. What's the story behind the Clinkett Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. Talk to you later. You bet.
Not sure I want to taste your food anymore. Afraid you'll learn something about yourself you don't want to know? Mm. Mm. Anyway, girl, I know you're in it right now, but try not to let it get to you. Juno's gonna seem real boring after all this, huh? God, boring sounds so good right now. Binging terrible shows while my amazing roommate cooks something delicious. Heaven. Delicious food for tax returns? You got yourself a deal, mister. Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. <sighs> yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to prove it that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did, watch. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy Owls only tend to live about 10 years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. This spot's familiar. She lost one of her only friends. She was always saying how she never would have found a place in Delos Crossing without Carol. You think her death kicked off Marianne's... Ty. This... this is it. Right. She's gotta be here somewhere. She's gotta be here somewhere. Still not the one. Still not the one. Allison. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. Tessa? Kids. I... Uh, I... I wasn't expecting to see... What are you... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe?
When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well, just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good to who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance, and seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa. I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? I thought you couldn't stand her. What happened? She did the only thing she thought she could. I... I can relate to that. I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her, but I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now.
I bet Tess is thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are gonna be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. Awkward as hell.